testing, testing, testing. Weighing in at 130 pounds, soaking wet. Her coochie's pink. Her booty hole is brown. All the way from pound town. Sexy. I was like, oh, girl, what? Oh, give me <laughs> Is she really coming to NXT? Is she really gonna? Is she really gonna be there? She gonna be there? I, uh, whoa, bitch! I look. Ain't gonna hate just yet. Okay, period. Like I really don't know what's going on. I don't know who's doing the booking, who's doing the billing. But baby, y'all got some explaining to do, and y'all better come through with a nasty segment, bitch. I mean, I don't know if I'm gonna wanna dance or if I'm gonna actually wanna pay attention. I mean, is this a stunt? You know, they did say Cardi B was coming over to the WWE. She was going to be in the match between somebody. We never seen her ass neither. But if this is really going to go down, I am here for it. I am dying to know how this all happened. To be honest, I really think Lash Legend and or Trick Williams might have something to do with this. I really can't see nobody else on the NXT roster wanting to invite Sexy Red to NXT. Or was this some Twitter beef? I don't really know what's going on right now with NXT. I haven't been really keeping up that much. I do apologize, okay? We definitely are going to get into the sexy red NXT hype and scandal, bitch. But I also, too, want to talk about some other WWE news rumors and concerns, bitch. Okay, period. We're going to get into the Speed Champ title. We're going to get into Becky Lynch and Seth Rollins' fashions. We're going to get into something I have coined Bianca Belair's internet. Like, you know... You got Beyonce's internet, but in this sector, you got Bianca Belair's internet, okay, period. And lastly, you guys, we're going to talk about our truth and the health condition that I think he is battling right now. And the WWE and the universe is not taking it serious. And y'all need to take this shit serious, period. Also, to some other tidbits of WWE news, y'all already know we got King and Queen of the Ring coming up this weekend, bitch, in Saudi so we're definitely going to be in the building. But yeah, let's go ahead and get into it. The sexy red scandal. I can't take it no more. I Guys, so we got a little four minute clip here that we just going to watch, take a peek at, you know, and get into the behind the scenes and the backstage story of how sexy red even got included in the conversation, bitch. Why is she even trying to sit at the NXT table? Per period. I mean, I know WWE... They're always trying to incorporate superstars and pop culture and, you know, viral sensations to the fold. Okay, you know, WWE love putting sports entertainers and stuff like that on the roster. We know, but who's picking them? How are we? What, who are we choosing? Well, I mean, fucking I show speed to Sexy Red to Logan Paul. Is she going to come to NXT in a prime bottle? I don't know. But anyway. We are going to get into the YouTube video uh, coming from The Scrap, Sexy Red, and WWE. The whole backstory ahead of her NXT. I'm guessing this is ahead of her NXT debut. We're going to go ahead and get into this four-minute video. Let me know what you think about this in the comment section below. Sexy Red coming to NXT. How do you think this is going to pan out? I know everybody and they mama is going to be tuning in, bit, And we're here for it. Thanks for clicking on the video. Before we get into it, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Let me subscribe! Speculation and rumors, it looks like Sexy Red is officially making her NXT debut next week. And she's ready to RKO somebody. Ahead of oh! parents, I thought I'd put together a timeline on how we even got here. Because let's be honest, a WWE and Sexy Red collab was most definitely not on my bingo card in 2024. No. When you take the time to look back at how this all went down, it's not as random as you think. Let's take it back to 2023. 2023? Sexy Red released Pound Town in January, and the song went viral for obvious reasons. And four months later, Nicki Minaj would hop on the remix, further pushing the song to mainstream. Okay. It charted on the Billboard Hot 100, making it Sexy's first song to do so. Okay. Five months after that, it was announced that she was pregnant with baby number two. And not only did this come as a surprise, many were shocked that this would happen at the peak of her rise. And you're probably wondering why all this is relevant. But to paint the full picture of her impact and how she even got on WWE's radar, I think it's important. In between all of this, pause. Not only was she working pause, 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 pause. How she got on WWE's radar, I mean, right now, I just got to say, WWE don't have all that much of a great radar. Not throwing shade to Sexy Red because she's great at what she do, but 
in today's world, if you have the followers, if you have the million records sold, if you have the social influence, if she's been spotted at NFL side court games, NBA side court games, and all of this and all of that, I say NFL side court, but you get what I'm saying. I figure it would be very easy for WWE to look and say, hmm, who's bringing in billions today? uh within pop culture or within rap hip-hop whatever whatever how could we incorporate them into the w i, I, I didn't think it would, i wouldn't think it would be that hard but let's go ahead and continue she was added as an opener for drake's tour a month after she sent out this tweet sexy reacted to a video of jay uso vibing a ski and she wanted to know when wwe was gonna invite her to a show Oh, Paul! So the influence here a little bit with Jay Uso. Okay, okay. I'm here for that. That couldn't happen, but that wouldn't stop her from continuously trying to make this a reality. Fast forward to 2024, Sexy had her baby, was finishing up tour with Drake, and becoming an even bigger artist in the mainstream light. She would reignite her WWE campaign with the video of her smoking a Shawn Michaels theme music. Oh, she really liked WWE. Obviously, this was a smart choice because HBK now runs the show on NXT. And days later, she would quote tweet what she says would be her entrance music in WWE. Check out this TikTok video of a fan remixing her song with an electric guitar. <laughs> listening to HBK's theme song, I speculated that she was hinting at sampling the song. And when digging up the information for this video, she actually did. Check this out. So the girls want to be a wrestler. Oh, no, she didn't. But anyways, a month after that, Sexy tweeted during NXT while watching the Supernova sessions, and to me, she's foreshadowing how she's going to get involved, and that's by helping WWE's next major superstar, the NXT champ, Trick Williams. Trick Williams. Oh. So the metaphor, mainly Lash Legend, better watch their back. And that brings us back to the tweet that restarted this whole video with. No sexy confirming that she will be at NXT next week because it has everyone in a frenzy. First off, Trick reacted with eye emojis, further confirming my thoughts on how I think she'll be involved. And even Lash Legend reacted with the excuse me? And I think the funny part about this all is that Lash kind of reminds me of Megan Thee Stallion. So when sexy RKO's her, that shit's gonna go viral and I can't wait. It also oh looks my like fucking Sword fighter God. Valerie Lareda. AKA Lola Vice responded to Sexy saying she could try if she wants. Oh, girl. So I don't know. Is Lola also getting involved or is she just fishing for some clout? Anyways, let me know what you guys think. You know the girl's gonna be fishing for some clout off of Sexy Red, but Sexy Red actually was fishing off of clout off of WWE. What? This was a really good video. The people definitely were commenting. Yes, I got to see how this all goes down. The people are commenting ski yeet in the comment section. <laughs> I cannot wait for this. Thank you for this video. This video was definitely needed because I know a lot of people who was probably watching NXT and still can get the connection, bitch. Because I'm just thinking to myself like... <laughs> Sexy red, what? I mean, she for the street, she for the hood, she for the club, bitch. She for the script club, bitch. She for the baby's daddy's baby mama drama, bitch. She, for, you know what I'm saying? It's another realm. It's a whole nother world. Like I wouldn't think that the WWE would even try to capitalize off of that. But hey, you know the acts now are becoming a lot more scandalous. It's been a lot about twerking. You know what I'm saying? And so look. We turning up, okay? And obviously, the people are standing on business when it comes to this one because they are definitely here for the shit. Sexy Red to NXT confirm. All right, the first order of business, bitch. The Speed Champion title belt. I, I saw Ricochet holding this belt online and I saw the title, The Speed Champion, and I'm thinking to myself, what did he do, drive a car? Uh, did he run around the ring and they timed him and he ran around the ring? They saw how fast he could run around the ring. Like, what? What? We already know Ricochet is fast. I don't even get, I don't even know what's going on. I, I, uh, 
here we go. Thank God for Google be a choker or whatever they want us to know. I don't know, but anyway. The WWE Speed Champion is a professional wrestling title for male wrestlers in World Wrestling Entertainment, WWE. This championship was announced on March 27, 2024. The matches have a time limit of three to five minutes. The title is featured on WWE's X program, which airs exclusively on the social media platform X Women on the Twitter. Why could we not just keep the 7 Eleven, 24 7 7 Eleven? I mean, what? Is it a certain weight class, though? Could they have, like, a big, strong guy come in the ring and just, like, powerbomb somebody and the match be over in three minutes and then they win? Or what is this? I, somebody, if you could help me in the comment section below to help me understand. Educate me on the belt. Educate me on the moment. <laughs> okay, period, please. Next order of business. Seth Rollins. And Becky Lynch fashions. Okay, I. This is what happens when you just hit the wall. Okay, bitch. I think Becky Lynch thought she was Lady Gaga. I was just thinking to myself, what is going on here? Like, this is not Bad Bunny and Cardi B. Seth Rollins is over here with a bald face, looking like a Mississippi pimp. And Becky Lynch looked like she just stepped off of a fucking spacecraft. Like she just floated in with this big ass spaceship on the top of her head, bitch. Talking about. Okay, I'm ready. Take my picture. Like, girl, what? Becky Lynch, Seth Rollins having fashions. Midlife crisis in real life. In and outside the ring, bitch. We're just going to leave it there. Okay, y'all need to stop. I, they got one too many fashion designers, bitch. And it's just not working. Moving along. Next order of business, bitch. Bianca Belair's internet. Now... The WWE Universe have definitely spoken. Okay, I made a video where I titled the video, I'm sorry, but Jade Cargill is better than Bianca Belair. Boy, <laughs> was that a fucking mistake, bitch. The girls really dragged me by my edges all across the internet. I'm like, what is going on here? No, it won't that bad, but I definitely asked for it and I definitely received it. So it's all good. Everybody's open to their own opinion. I just made the title like that to make the video a little spicy, bitch. Okay, so we could garner some engagement and really talk about the topic. But, <laughs> no, no. Okay, uh, no, no. Uh-uh. Okay, throw you some L.A. Knight in there. The WWE Universe has definitely already spoken, and they say Bianca Belair is actually, in fact, better than Jade Cargill. So, two snaps in a circle, bitch. Okay, y'all got it. Okay, look. I won't open my mouth no more about the topic. No, I'm just playing. Anyway. This is definitely Bianca Belair's internet, bitch. And I don't blame the people. It's time we protect. It's time we gatekeep the braid, bitch. Okay, period. Anyway, on to a more serious topic here tonight, you guys. And I'm for real about this. Our truth Now, I know our truth has really been a comical blessing when it comes to WWE and the segments, okay? He's definitely had a lot of hijinks, and he definitely have given us a lot of shenanigans over the years. But... It's been a lot of years, bitch. And I really don't know if the WWE is really checking up on our truths mental health. I don't I just don't know if they're check I don't even know. I don't know. I don't even know how the evaluations go, but I want to just bring to you a thought. Okay, like I really think our truth is suffering from Alzheimer's and oh, wait a minute, and or dementia, bitch. Okay, period. I don't mean to say that to be mean, but <laughs> He's confusing Tommaso Ciampa with Triple H, okay? He's thinking Andre the Giant is still alive, bitch. What's going on here? That, um, we need to get our truth to memory care stat, okay? We need to get his ass over there quick, fast, in a hurry. He don't know whether he coming or going. He's still thinking he's part of the New Day and the Judgment Day and Awesome Truth, bitch. I, he's confusing wrestlers I, and... This might be a reality, bitch, okay? The people actually might have dementia and or Alzheimer's, bitch, okay? Hit me up in the comment section below. Period on that. <laughs> he definitely needs some memory care, okay? We need to get uh, our truth some zinc and some B vitamins, bitch, okay? Period. So we can get his memory back together. <laughs> Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, okay? Hit that bell notification to be updated and notified when I upload more content such as this. And I will see you guys in the next one. Y'all already know we got SmackDown coming up. And after that, we got the PLE. 
queen and king of the ring so i'm definitely gonna be back in the building hit me up in the comment section below and let me know what you want to talk about some hot topics some thoughts okay some predictions period and i'll see you guys in the next one Ooh, I'd have been down bad in them trench set rap that stick. Ooh, who gave you pills? Who gave that dust? Pluto central and lit.